Hello. Welcome to part two of our Assembly Cinema 4D series. This animation is part of a social marketing campaign I'm currently working on, and in the same way as our previous video, it was designed in Assembly and exported into Cinema, then extruded and animated with physics simulations. Let's head over to Assembly and see how this was created, ready to be imported. Let's start by grabbing a circle from the basic shapes drawer. Let's increase its size, add a stroke, and reduce the fill opacity to zero. Duplicate this circle and reduce its scale. You will notice that the stroke will remain the same thickness. Repeat this two more times. Now let's just add the fill back to our smaller circle. These are our maze walls but we also need openings of equal size. We're going to do this by using a rectangle as a ruler. Let's put one in place over all the circles and go into our point editing mode. For each of the circles, with the exception of the smallest, we need to add new points. Simply click on the plus icon and align your new point to the edge of your ruler. Once you have done this for each of the sides of the circle, then remove the ruler. Now all we need to do is delete the highest point and the highest line. You will be left with an even gap across all your circles. All we need to do now is round off the edges of these strokes. Next we need to create a line in our center circle. Let's head over to the drawer to grab a new stroke. Increase its thickness to match the gaps in the circles. Now round off the ends. Head over to transform and turn this stroke into a shape. Now for our circles. The circle is currently made up of a fill and a stroke. We need to select both of these, tap on boolean and combine. Now let's cut out our line from our circle by heading over to boolean and tapping on cut out. We need to now create our eye shape. Grab a circle from the basic shapes drawer and increase its size so it's larger than our largest circle. Move it to the back. Now, grab an eye shape and rescale it to fill our canvas. Select both, tap on Boolean and then cut out. Finally, all we need to do is create an opening at the bottom of our eye shape. Simply repeat the process we used for our center circle. Now, round off the edges by heading into point editing mode. Our shape is complete. Now let's export it as an SVG, remembering to head over to Illustrator and save it out as an Illustrator 3 file. Once imported into Cinema 4D, you can see by simply extruding the shape how much of the workload was done in assembly. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.